Afternoon, everybody. I'm Rick Lumpkin. I am the uh, Deputy Director of the Physical Oceanography Division. I'm also the um, lead of the U.S. delegation to the Data Buoy Cooperation mm -hmm. Panel. So the Global Ocean Observing System consists of a number of components ranging from drifting buoys to moored buoys to shipboard observations to autonomous vehicles. AOML contributes to or leads a number of key components of this observing system, and we manage the data that's provided by these instruments. There's a number of societal and science drivers for these observations, ranging from improving forecasts to uh, monitoring climate change to contributing to the blue economy. You'll be hearing a number of specific examples in the lightning talks to come. We have a large number of partners within the United States, both within NOAA and US agencies, and across the country, a very, very large list of academic partners. This is only a partial representation of that list here. We also partner with uh, private uh, manufacturers and companies and with international organizations to leverage ship time to maintain global arrays of instruments. If we had to rely solely on uh, NOAA ship time to put these instruments in the water, it would be very cost prohibitive. Funding for these efforts comes from the Ocean Observations and Monitoring Division and AOML base funds, as well as hurricane supplemental funds. We also rely heavily on OMAO support for the ship time for the NOAA cruises and shorter term proposals. The data are used for climate assessments. They're used for weather forecasting. They're used for ocean uh, state estimates. They're used for ocean improvements, data synthesis products, mm -hmm. observations of satellite calibration and validation, and to conduct ocean and climate research. The Argo float program provides heat and salt profiles of the upper ocean and is the primary reason why our estimates of the heating of the upper ocean have become so much more confident in the recent part of the record than earlier. AOML houses the uh, U.S. Data Assembly Center for the Argo program, providing quality control and distribution of these data. And we also contribute to maintaining the Atlantic component of the global array. There's a growing number of these floats that are measuring biogeochemical properties now, uh, including uh, oxygen, nitrate, pH, chlorophyll A, suspended particles, and downwelling irradiants. AOML is taking the lead in developing quality control procedures for these data, both in near real time and in delayed mode. The Global Drifter program provides global measurements of surface currents, temperatures, barometric pressure, and directional wave spectra. And it's per observation, the leading way we reduce errors in uh, weather forecasts. Here at AOML, we lead the logistical effort to maintain a global five degree by five degree array with a huge list of partners. Uh, we also house the Data Assembly Center for the program, which does the quality control, the distribution, and creates products uh, such as this climatology of ocean surface currents. AOML leads the bo western boundary components of two efforts to monitor the Atlantic overturning circulation at 26.5 north and 34.5 south. As a part of this, we've measured the Florida current transport since 1982, one of the longest ocean climate time series. We participate in and have led repeat hydrographic sections from WOS through Clivar to the GO ship program, measuring uh, large scale, long term changes in a vast suite of ocean properties around the world. We lead the XPT and Ships of Opportunity networks. These are transects that are eddy and boundary current resolving of the upper ocean uh, heat. Uh, and we work with partners in the private industry to leverage ship time to deploy XPTs, Argo floats, drifters, and other components of this system. We operate thermosalinographs on 14 NOAA and two ships of opportunity vessels to collect underway temperature, salinity, and PCO2. We also take those data, do near real-time quality control, and distribute those data worldwide. Parada is the backbone of the Tropical Atlantic Observing System, measuring a suite of upper ocean and air-sea interfaces. AOML leads the annual cruises to service the four moorings in the northeastern part of the array, the main development region of Cape Verde-style hurricanes. As Gustavo mentioned, we're also leading an international effort to collect ocean observations to improve hurricane forecasts by creating a picket fence of gliders in the Caribbean Sea, the Gulf of Mexico, and in the open Atlantic Ocean off the U.S. coast. Looking to the future, we're developing systems such as a data pod system to reduce our reliance on ship time. We're working with partners in the private industry to add sensors to existing equipment like this dual salinity drifter. And we're developing data transmission technology as we look towards a future of broadband coverage over the entire global oceans. Thank you for your attention, and I'd like to introduce Dennis Volkov.